Hello. So if you are looking to import someone into your Thrivecart and add them to a course, there's not a simple way to do it where you can just like click add a student. You have to do it through a CSV file and you need to have a Learn Plus. So what you need to do is you need to get yourself a spreadsheet. Um, this is just in Excel. You can do it in Google Sheets. And you just need two columns, name and email. That's the only two columns that you need. And what you would do, you would put the person that you want to add in here. So I'm just going to put in, I don't think I'm already in with this email because of course I do a lot of testing. Um, so here we go. We've got the name in and we've got the email and you'd put in as many as you need to if it's just one or more than one. And then I'm just going to save this file. Um, I'll just save it as Thrivecart import. Make sure I saved it in the right place. I have not. Let me put it in my download folder and go. There we go. So now what we can do is if we go back into Thrivecart, right at the bottom, so if you go to my students, right at the bottom you'll see import students and you will just click on that. You'd select what course you want them to go in. So let's just say I want them to go in both of these courses. Then I would press next. I'd upload the CSV. So I'm going to press next and then select CSV file. So you can see there I've got a CSV file. I'm going to open that up and then just press import. So it's saying, are you sure you want to import one student from your CSV file? So if there's only one, so it's recognized that. And I would say, yes, begin importing. Now, this Time just takes a few minutes. It's never taken long for me. Um, I imported a couple of hundred the other day and it didn't take too long to do. But you would just wait for it to finish this little process here. And as you can see, it's 100%. So now we can close this window. So if I go back and I just search my email, we can see that I've been added in. Um, I must have already been in because um, obviously I put Laura Binet, so I was already in. And we can see that it's added me into the two courses. If I click view my profile, we can see I've been added to both courses. And it's as simple as that. That's all you need to do. If you didn't, if you left the name field blank, and what would happen is you'd end up people being imported with just their email and not their actual, I keep pressing the email, and not their actual name. If you had first name, last name as a column, again, it would not import the name. It needs to be name and email. Now, a good way, way just as a little bonus, for you to be able to get this spreadsheet already formatted for you is if you're ever in here, so if I just go back, and we can see here, you can just, you know, get a list of your students up, just press download CSV. And then that will automatically download it in the format that Thrivecart recognizes. So if I just open this up now, what it's done, it's opened it up and we can see name, email. It does have date created and course list, um, but we don't need them two columns. So you could just then delete them. And then that's it. You would just put the rest of the details in that you need. So that's another way you could create a spreadsheet if you wanted to do it that way instead. So I hope that's helped you in learning how to do that. And um, please let us know in the comments if that worked for you. Just a reminder, you do need the Learn Plus to be able to do this importing. But if you didn't have this, you would need to do a workaround, which I will do a video on actually, but you would need to do a workaround for it, such as getting them to opt into a form, something that's free for you to be able to do it.